like all of a sudden and I was a Red Sox <laughs> guy, you know. Um, but and I became a fan because they're such good guys. And we got to be friends with Bronson Arroyo and a couple other guys. But uh, I, I more follow players than teams because free agency and everything, everybody gets scattered. Right. Now, James, early in the show we talked about Manny Ramirez and him dogging it to first base. I don't know if you saw that. Which time? Oh, yeah, no, 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 recently, yesterday. I, I cut him from my fantasy team for that last year. Now, on your show, if Terry Hatcher ever dogged it on your show, would you have a problem kicking her right in the ass? <laughs> kicking her? <laughs> uh, that'd be my last, my last day on Wisteria Lane. Um, yeah, I would not. No, I'm just, you know, I'm riding the Terry Hatcher train right now. I don't, I don't make any waves. I mean, she's having, a, she's having a great year, and the show is, you know, it's all about the women and. Uh, no, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> Absolutely. Speaking good of, answer. Good answer. Just like it. <laughs> speaking of the women, speaking of the women, the beautiful Eva Longoria, your co-star, is actually dating one of my, one of my NBA colleagues, Tony mm -hmm. Parker. Has he ever been to the set? You know, I haven't seen him on the set, but but he comes to a lot of the functions. And once and they tried to be kind of cagey about it for a while, but they finally got outed by the the media. And he came to a couple of parties. He's a real good guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real funny guy. I like him a lot. They seem to be pretty tight. Well, you know, Jalen was actually our correspondent during the NBA Finals, and he did run into Ava. And uh, here's what happened. I don't know if you remember. Hey, you go oh, I have a bet with uh, uh, Sally. Uh, Sally, what is the bet? If, if the Spurs lost, I would come on your show in a bikini. If the Spurs oh. won, he's coming on the hey, show in a speedo. Hey. I don't know. If, I don't know if our ratings Ooh. can take that. <laughs> I mean, we got a pretty big audience, but we don't want to lose many of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against him, but I wish she had lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we she, wore, she wore the bathing suit anyway on so that uh, award we. show that time. She's, she uh, but she can wear it. Hey, yes. Sunday's a huge day for you. It's the premiere of Desperate Housewives on Sunday on ABC at 9 p.m. Eastern. But it's also another big day for you. It's the Nautica Malibu Triathlon. And are you in it? Can you describe the event? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to suffer through it. It's, uh, all the money goes to the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. They do it every year. I s tried to swim it one year and just about drowned. So this year I'm running. <laughs> uh, but I'm running with Steve McPherson, who's the president of ABC. He's biking, so the pressure's on. Because I I'm running like the anchor leg. I just have to run four miles, though. So I'll tough it out. But it's a pretty, pretty good cause. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a great cause. <laughs> As you know, I told you last time, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the show. And last time we saw you on Housewives, uh, Zach was holding Susan hostage at your house. Mm -hmm. And tell us now, America wants to know, and I want to know especially, <laughs> is everything going to be okay, man? Well, you know, I'm still working, uh, so uh, I, I survived that scene. But it's really funny. It, comes, it, it plays out in a very typical Desperate Housewives way, right when the tension gets really heavy and it becomes soap opera-like something silly happens. So it's, it's a real, the, the way it plays out, people will be happy with it. But it does take kind of a dark twist, and, and then Mike becomes obsessed with whether or not Zach's his kid, and, and that sort of gets me going for this first five or six episodes and, and gets another mystery happening. But also, last time we talked about the show, you were joking about us needing some color on the street. Yeah. And we got some. And we got yeah. some. We dressed it up. We it wasn't did. me, but you did get some color. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we got Alfred Woodard uh, came on, and we're so happy to have her. She's such a brilliant actress, and Makad Brooks, who's... Uh, you know, her typically gorgeous 20-year-old model son. But uh, they're great actors, and we're, we're lucky to have them. So we've got a lot of new characters. Well, you know, you said the show's all about the women, but, you know, for the women out there that are watching on the other side of the TV, they love your character. You drive the women of Wisteria Lane nuts. In fact, we do have a clip from Sunday night's premiere. Watch. Cool. Well, well, well. Mike Delfino. When you're finished with those pipes, maybe I could persuade you to do a little work on mine. Mike's out sick today, but I'll be able to help however I can. <laughs> that's, that's me in episode, that's a season 10. That's what I'm going to look like. Right Guys, there. We have got plenty more coming your way with James Denton. Now, of course, thanks to Oprah Winfrey, this man lived out his dream. What did he do? He threw out the first pitch at Fangway Pond. Well, we actually helped James get ready for that night with a little bullpen warm-up session on our set. Well, he and Jalen didn't exactly connect. So, well, of course, it's time for a mulligan. James and Jalen get another shot of pulling this off. Can they do it? That's a good look for you, pal. You're We're gonna coming back, it. all right? You're going to need it.
said. We are back with James Denstar, Desperate Housewives, on August 13th. You got to live out a pretty good dream here, James. I'm in trouble. Not bad, throwing it to Kurt Schilling. Yeah, that, was, that was one of those, uh, one of those gravity sinkers. <laughs> that was good, though. The was kid, good. What do they always well, tell you? Don't Just don't it. bounce it. And right. what's funny is I talked to Bronson Royal right before that. He said, did you warm up? And I was like, no, man, I don't have to warm up. And he had just thrown one at a minor league game, and he bounced it. A major league pitcher. So I got real nervous. Then Schilling said, hey, I'll catch it just for fun. And when Schilling got back there, the first thing I thought was, I'm going to hit him in the ankle, bust his ankle again, and they're not going to let me out of here alive. So I was pretty nervous once he got back there. Well, you had actually been on our show about a month before that. And uh, actually, we let you warm up in our bullpen. Here's what happened. Let's see it. Let's hear it for Jamie Denton. I'll shake you off. Oh! It's a really good lesson. Yeah. Yeah, because you know what happened? Because I never thought in a million years I'd play so much softball. I never thought that I, I wouldn't throw a strike. And I did that, and I stood there and thought, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. I had this weird, you know, weird angle going. I have to come over the top. Well, so I right. learned my lesson with Jalen. Let's see that day. if you've learned your lesson. Let's All hear right. it for James Denton as he gets up here, gang. There you go, honey. Here's your bucket of balls. You got three of them. I got, I got, I got and of course, bucket. once again, your old reliable catcher, Jalen Rose of the Toronto Raptors. Right. Let's see what you learned, James. Hey, Jalen Rose, famous for all his years on the Sandlot, right? You got, they got to look at the signal. Put this the, would be better. Hey, yeah, let's see what yeah. Ready? Come on, bring the heat. Oh, he's, well, if I shake you off, it can make you mad. <laughs> Here it comes. Here comes the hard cheese. Right, I'm ready for it, baby. Let's get it. Uh. Yeah. Very nice. No, here comes the hard cheese. All right, hold on. Heads up, guys. Demo, let's get in there. Come on, man. Get in there. Oh. Hey, guys, let's do it for James Denton once again. Very nice. Thank you. All right, when we come back, another Hollywood hotshot joins us. Shia LaBeouf 